Hello and welcome to Clovis Local, our weekly webcast whose sole focus is on the events, people, and important news from the Gateway to the Sierra. In this edition, Rotary Skate Park reopens with new rules and video surveillance after repairs and graffiti cleanup. Families take advantage of the Clovis Cooling Center, relief from extreme heat, and the compassionate task of animal control, rescue, and adoptions. First up, extreme heat and crummy air quality in Clovis and the rest of the western United States. As we record this webcast, it's 108 degrees, and as you can see, a smoky haze obscures our SkyCam view of Clovis. Make no mistakes, we're in the midst of a dangerous heat wave. For the past several days, dozens of people have made their way to the Clovis Senior Center, which is doubling as a cooling center. For some, this is the best way to stay calm, cool, and collected. Every summer, uh, you know, this, this, the valley goes through this, uh, but it's really important when you're looking at your physically challenged and your seniors, sometimes they just don't remember or have the means to keep themselves cool. At home, it gets really hot. We don't have an AC in our home, so it's really nice to come in, relax, you know, they have drinks, and, you know, keep cool and have fun. They have stuff to do here. I'm really thankful because you can just play and you can do stuff and stay out of the heat. The Clovis Cooling Center is open from noon to 10 p.m. every day when the temperature climbs beyond 105. Again, it's located at the Clovis Senior Center, 850 4th Street. After being closed for a week, Letterman Park, home of the Rotary Skate Park, is now open again. Usually, the skate park teeming with activity, but it's 108 degrees and people know better than to be outdoors. The Clovis City Council recently voted to enforce new rules at Letterman Park to curb loitering, loud music, and to prohibit bicycles and scooters within the skate park. Police say they started seeing problems not with those who skate here, but with young adults ages 19 to 24 who were bad influences on the younger kids. $20,000 worth of repairs and security improvements were made. The uh, skate park itself, there were some repairs made inside of the park. Um, the overall exterior of the park, we had some trees trimmed. Um, we had some cameras installed. We had some lighting issues that are being, are being fixed. Um, and that's just to make it a better and safer place for, for everybody to show up. We want to make it a family atmosphere. Skaters are not without adult supervision. The recreation leader is there at all times when the skate park is open. Most of the kids that come out here just come to skate and have a good time. And, you know, as long as they follow the rules, wear their helmets, um, generally bring a positive attitude, yeah, it's a, it's a really good place to hang out. The new rules and security improvements appear to have made a difference. Lieutenant Basgill says since the park's reopening on the 4th of July, police haven't had any complaints or problems. When we come back, the compassionate task of caring for animals in Clovis. Enjoy classic outdoor theater under the stars. Join KC24 and the Woodward Shakespeare Festival for 12th night, starting June 26th through July 26th. Watch Shakespearean characters come alive Thursdays through Saturdays at Woodward Park. For more information, go to kc24.com. Brought to you by the companies you count on. Gottschalk's, Warner Company Jewelers, and KC24. Extreme heat can be deadly for the sick and elderly, but also for pets. In Clovis, compassionate people care for homeless animals, trying to find good homes for them. Like every other shelter in Central California, Clovis is seeing its usual summer increase in homeless animals. Some are stray, others abandoned, some innocent victims of the foreclosure crisis. When it comes to caring for your pet in the heat, there's a basic rule of thumb. If you feel it's extremely hot, your pet's probably feeling extremely hot as well. So, and garages, that doesn't really create better shelter. Sometimes the garage may heat up because the vehicle's in there. Um, so I would recommend not use the garage to keep your, your pet out of the weather. Um, either in the house or on a shaded patio would be the best. Your cat probably wouldn't appreciate a dip in the pool, but it could be just the ticket for a dog who likes the water. If they're going to be outside, you may want to have a little pool as well that they can lay in to cool off their bodies. Um, dogs cool themselves by panting, so they can't sweat like people, so having cool water on them really helps lower their, their body temperature. 
Of course, never leave any animal in a hot car for any amount of time. If you can open your home to a loving companion, there are plenty to choose from at the Clovis Adoption Center. It's located at 868 Villa Avenue, right behind Letterman Park. They're open Tuesday through Friday, 2.30 to 6 p.m., Saturdays from noon to 5. Now a quick look at the Clovis community calendar. The City Council meets July 14th at 7 at Clovis City Hall. Clovis Unified School District's next regular meeting is July 16th at 6.30. Clovis Boys and Girls Club open all summer weekdays from noon to 6, Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. The Police Activities League Junior Giants Baseball is July 15th and 17th at Clark Intermediate School. And the Old Town Farmer's Market continues through the summer, Fridays from 5.30 to 9 p.m. at 5th and Pulaski. If you have any Clovis story ideas or feedback about this webcast, please post your comments on kc24.com. We'll see you next week for Clovis Local. I'm Mark Alger, KC24 News.